Okay, so I'm going to talk a bit about the uh, announcement for a new Star Wars game called Star Wars Jedi The Fallen Order, or Star Wars Fallen Order. I don't know what the hell to call it. Anyway, so let's talk a bit about Fallen Order. Now, Fallen Order is going to be interesting because unlike Battlefront and Battlefront 2 is that uh, this is not going to be a multiplayer game. This is going to be a solo play game. This is going to be something like along the lines of like God of War or, you know, pretty much God of War, but without the M-rated stuff. So, if anything, it's probably going to have a lot of feel of Force Unleashed, and I'll get to that in a moment, of why I say that in a moment. Now, the story is uh, centered around a lost Padawan who survived the end of the, Je uh, the Edi of the Jedi Order and is now on his or her own. We don't know who this Padawan is, and this is months after the events of Order 66, so we are looking at a... We are in the Dark Times era, the 20-year gap between Revenge of the Sith and uh, A New Hope. So in that regard, I think it's... Uh, I think that's really cool. It's always cool to see Dark Times stuff. I don't know why, but, like, I always get a little hyped when I see um, Dark Times era stuff uh, done. Probably because I just like it's, it's the rise of the Empire. It's... It's always that cool in that regard. And the fact that it's taking months after the events of Revenge of the Sith, that's a very interesting time period, because it, we are only months from the transitional period between the Empire's transition, I mean, excuse me, the Republic's transition into the, M, into the Imperial Senate. So that's going to be cool to, to hopefully see more, uh, see a closer look at, is like uh, get to see more of, uh, at least in this new continuity, of the Empire, you know, the the new Emp Imperial policy over the Republic policy, uh, over the old Republic policy. So hopefully we'll get to see that. Um, that's what I'm really hoping for. Is, at least I want to see how this new continuity does. And I know Dark Horse and a lot of the other novels did a lot of, um, a lot of stuff regarding the transitional period between the Empire and, from the old Republic. Especially a lot of the stuff from James Lucino's novels, and especially the Tarkin novel. Uh, Tar yeah, the Tarkin novel and uh, Catalyst, the Rogue One prequel novel. Anyway, so the fact that we are also playing a new Star Wars character, uh, a Padawan, that we do not know if it's a boy or a girl, alien, human, we we honestly have no idea what the, what the case is with this new character. And a lot of people have been saying that, oh, maybe it's Kanan. Maybe we're um, we're doing it, we're doing a story from the line of Kanan. I look. I don't think it's going to be. Ka I mean, I can understand if it is going to be Kanan. I don't think it's going to be Kanan Jarus. Um, I don't think it's going to be Kanan's story, honestly, because we already have Kanan's story. We already have uh, Kanan's uh, story. In, you know, from being a Jedi, you know, from being a lost Padawan to being a rebel in uh, the Greg Weissman comics from Marvel, Kanan the Last Padawan. We already have that story. And I can understand a lot of people thinking it's Kanan because he was considered to be one of the last pa uh, one of the last surviving Jedi. And the fact that they probably want to cash in and do more stories with, you know, because it's Disney after since, you know, Kanan's dead. I would not be shocked if it is Kanan. I don't think it's going to be Kanan is what I'm saying. I don't think it's going to be Kanan Jarrus in here. I would not be shocked if... However, I would not be surprised if we did run into Kanan and Hera in this story. Would not be shocked by that at all. Um, because Rebels is their golden boy for Disney, along with the new trilogy of films. So again, would not put it past them to do something in that regard. Um... So going back to what I was saying about the uh, the fall, you know, Fallen Order feeling like Force Unleashed three, uh, feeling like unofficially Force Unleashed three is that it's going to have a lot of the themes. Obviously, we're doing dark time stuff, but however, instead of doing dark side stuff, we're basically going to be doing, um, we're basically going to do uh, stuff from a Jedi's perspective. And I'm re I'm really curious to see because Force Unleashed, at least the first game. Let me say Force Unleashed two, still not great. Force Unleashed 1 got you to do all these uh, cool missions, these cool scavenger hunts for different stuff, and new pla you know, we got to go to these different planets, we got to encounter all these different characters, and I thought it was a pretty neat story. I think it's a pretty neat story. I still think um, Force Unleashed has a pretty neat story to it, and hopefully we get the same thing with Fallen Order with this new, uh, with this Padawan character, uh, whoever he or she may be. Um, so that's what I'm th hoping for, is that maybe we'll get 
a character who you know, gets to go on all these adventures and whatnot, while at the same time avoiding Vader and the Empire, as well as, you know, avoiding, like, uh, bounty hunters or mercenaries who want to cash in and, like, hey, got me a Jedi, gonna kill him. <laughs> uh, gonna kill him for money or sell him into slavery, or maybe I'll sell him to the Empire. They they send, they send sell big bucks for, uh, you know, for Imperial, you know, for, um, for Jedi. Man, I'm totally tongue-tied here. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm really curious as like, especially with, of course, going back to Force, you know, Force Unleashed, we had all these cool Force powers. I don't want a lot of, like, major, like, oh my god, you know, Force Chaos power, like, you know, create like an energy gem of Force field, you know, this Force field of, of, of Force energy. I don't want that. We're a pat, you know, we're, you're playing as a Padawan. That means your Force abilities are not, like, up to par. If anything, it's going to depend more... I would actually would not mind if this game depended more on saber work than, you know, more of your ability on the Force. Because, if, you know, if you're playing as a Padawan, it would be really like Mary Sue-ish. And I mean really, really Mary Sue-ish if, um... If, like, you're playing as a Padawan who had all these great Force abilities, because you'd be thinking at the same time, okay, why wasn't this a Jedi Knight before this happened? You know, why weren't you already a Jedi Knight? That's what, I, that's what I would be a little miffed about. You may be saying, oh, but Rey had no Force training, and she had amazing Force powers, and she wasn't trained. I'm going... She's basically a reactionary um, thing. She's basically a reaction that the Force created to balance out the uh, darkness that Kylo Ren and Snoke were, uh, were uh, spreading throughout the galaxy. She was given that power by the Force as a way to, you know, to balance the darkness with the light. So, I forgive it for that, and I know that sounds like a little magic BS, but the Force has always been kind of mystic BS from the beginning, hasn't it? Anyway. So, that's my thing, is that I don't want a lot of, like, uber Force powers, because then it would be like, alright, we did this already with 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 Galen Marek, we did this with Star, you know, we already did this with Starkiller, but this, and that, it, it makes a lot of sense because he was trained by Vader, you know, a lot, and he was gifted in the Force, but... He was tr he was honed and trained by Vader um, to do all that. So he, and he still wasn't powerful. If you go by the good ending, he still wasn't strong enough to take on Sidious. So I don't. So I, I'm not saying. Listen, I'm not saying that I don't want force powers in here. Like maybe it'd be cool. Is like maybe you can use the Jedi mind trick, and every time you use it, like you can skill you can build up the skill set to like be able to you know, really influence people. Like, at the start, it's more like really weak-minded people, and then you get a little, you know, you get a little more at, uh, points to it, and then you can, like, uh, do it more and more often to other people. And, uh, and, and creatures. Like, you can just, uh, mind-trick them. So that'd be neat. Uh, but I'm not looking for, like, create, like, four domes of energy, or, you know, just snap your fingers and people blow away, or some shit like that. I know that's not a thing, but I'm just using that as a reference. I'm just I'm just saying that as a frame of reference, people. Um, so yeah, I, um, so I'm just expecting something in the vein of like God of War, um, where it's a hack and slash kind of story, uh, but nothing too gory because this is D Disney and EA. So, but hopefully we'll get to see other characters in here. Maybe we'll get. Of course, we're probably going to see Vader. That's a given. Uh, Emperor possibly as well. I'm also expecting to see... I'm, I'm hoping to see, like, other characters in here, like, um... Like, maybe, you know, Aura Singh or Cat Bane. That'd be neat. Um... I don't know. I'm just kind of hoping for some cool stuff. That's really all I'm really hoping for, for this. But nothing, like, too OP. You know what I'm saying? If that... I know I'm not making a lot of sense, but I'm just looking for a cool Star Wars game... Single-player Star Wars game... Um, that doesn't have, like, super OP, and I can depend more on lightsaber than force combat. Not saying I wouldn't want force com combat, but I don't want, like, OP force powers, because we are still a... You're playing as a Padawan, not a Jedi Master. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this? You guys like this? You guys hate it? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.